Okay, here we go. UNPL Season 4, Week 8. We had a nice win last week. Um, we are just... This is actually a huge game for playoff implications. So, of course, we brought the Heat. Um, instead of bringing... <laughs> instead of bringing, like, a legit... It's a legit team, okay? Um, but we have Terrain Extender Zapdos to try to set up the uh, our newly added Drift Blim. We added, like, two weeks ago. So, he has... His team... My opponent's team is disgusting. Disgusting, by the way. Darkrai, uh, Dragapult, Clefable. Like, what? Infernape even? Like, Infernape is underrated, I think, in drafts right now. Um, either way, he can uh, he can Terrestrialize his Electros. He has Clefable. He has Infernape. He has Darkrai. He has Dragapult. And the Gastrodon. So the only thing he can ter Terrestrialize is Electros. That's good to know. Um, <sighs> I was thinking about leading with Klefki. I don't love it. I don't really love any lead here. Um, Klefki matches well into most of my opponent's team. Probably not Gastrodon, but I don't really see a Gastrodon lead. I'm guessing it's going to be uh, the Dragapult. It could also be uh, Darkrai, honestly. I haven't even... I've never... I can say I've never faced Darkrai in a competitive battle in my life. I don't play Ubers, and it's been Ubers forever. Um, I mostly play Draft. Um, draft and like VGC, so uh, I just I've I've never actually gotten to face a dark guy, so this will be a first, which is never a good sign for me. Um, so I I don't even know if I no I've definitely faced Infernape before. Um, but Fable's common, Dark Dragapult's common, Gastrodos Gastron's common. Um, Terra Electros e Electros will be interesting too. Oh no, did we lose the? Don't tell me we lost the the damn. Uh, oh god. Okay, I can hear everything. Okay, we're back up and running. Uh, telling my opponent. <laughs> that was... Uh, okay, I did call it right. It was the this thing. Um, I don't have spikes on this. I wish I had spikes now. Uh, you're going to have... You're going to go for like a knockoff. Let's go for a light screen first. Oh my god, dude. This has been crazy. Are you even able to hear me? You are able to hear me. We're gonna turn he's gonna terrestrialize turn one. This match is already fire, dude. What is going on? He's gonna be poison. Okay, but I'm also a steel type. You do know this, right? Um I guess my move being play rough. What are you gonna I mean, can you set hazards? I don't think so. We're gonna set a light screen. You're going to I'm gonna get like one I don't know what discharge. Okay. Discharge and it's a poison type. We get para turn one. Dude, this match is already like crazy, dude. I'm just going to go ahead and switch out on the Discharge. Um, I'm going to threaten him. I'm going to threaten him with uh, Tusk. I don't... Uh, actually, I can't because he he will know. That was actually dumb. That was a bad play. Um, unless he just goes for another Discharge. We do have the Light Screen up. Uh, we're going to resist any Poison moves. We have the Assault Fest. Uh, flamethrower comes out. This is not going to do that much. It's not stab. Just please don't burn me. Oh my god, dude. That would be the worst. Um. He's, he has no reason not to switch out. I mean, he has no reason to. He might just go clef. Because right now, the, the only thing stopping, um, the ghost here. I, I had a hard time building this set because I'm bad versus clefable with the current build. I'm going to Heavy Slam, see how much it does to this, and hope he switches into... No, he did not switch. Okay. That doesn't do much, but he probably can't do much to me. He's going to Giga Drain. Again, that doesn't do much to me either. Discharge, Poison type, Flamethrower, Giga Drain. Um, I'm just going to go into Torkoal and set my rocks, I guess. Uh, I really wanted to get that off on the, on the Clefable there. I was hoping he would go Clefable. Now we've revealed the Heavy Slam. Um... Okay, we gotta settle in, man. This is a crazy start to this game, dude. OBS crashed. <laughs> um, oh boy. Uh, he terrestrialized ter turn one, dude. Um, I'm faster than this, aren't I? I might be faster than this. That does nothing. Uh. We're going to find out if we're faster by clicking a move. I did make myself faster than something. I think it was just Gastrodon, though. I'm probably not faster than this. Um, is Stealth Rock going to be helpful? It is actually, I believe... Eh. I'd rather get damage on this, actually. I think I'd rather get damage on this. Stealth Rock is not even that 
Not that big a deal. I'm going to get damage on this. Hopefully he stays in. And I have the Heat Rock. He could knock me off, but he would have gone for knockoff by now. He would have gone for a knockoff by now if he was going to go for it. Anyway, I was in the middle of when OBS crashed. I was in the middle of explaining that this is a huge game for playoffs. Uh, oh no, I tried to start that in the in the intro. Um, he is going to switch out, unfortunately. That thing is still an issue for us. Um, but now there's no surprises, right? Because he's you're gonna you're gonna take the uh, lava plume. A burn would be wonderful here. That did so much damage, dude. Um, Klefki is our play for this, I believe, every time. For now, it's our play. For now. It's not always going to be. Um, but that's some nice chip, dude. That's some nice chip. My offensive Torkoal. I'm glad that I brought offensive. I always bring defensive. And I thought I'd mix it up. Um, yeah, I, I did try to outspeed. I speed crept a, uh, a slow Gastrodon. A fast Torkoal. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a U-turn come out, but that's okay, because Klefki's still here to set screens, Thunder Wave things. Um, yeah, the Poison type, I mean, he can't do anything to half my team is the thing. Um, like, Drifloom should be able to beat it. Uh, yeah, a lot of my Pokemon, it's not really a problem, it's just hard to KO. Ooh, that's going to hurt. He's going to be tempted to knock me out, so I'm going to go for the T-Wave. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. This thing being paralyzed would be massive. That's a good read by him to go for the Flamethrower. Um, but again, we do have other options to switch into this. The Light Screen saved us there for sure. Um, let's see. I didn't put... Normally, I put up an output projector to have a better view of my uh, game screen here. And I don't have that now because it crashed a minute ago. He is going to switch out. That's unfortunate. Uh, what's going to get paralyzed here? The Gastrodon! Good plays, dude. Okay, he's playing well. He's playing well. Oh, we're fully paralyzed anyway, so it doesn't even matter. How many turns of screen of the first screen are left? Only one of, of light screen. Uh, especially in the sun, I'm not really too afraid of Gastrodon here. Let's go try to break a little bit with, uh... Let's go try to break a little bit with, um, Roaring Moon here. I'm expecting, like, an... I mean, our Earth Power is obvious. A Scald will not do very much. Stealth Rock. Good play. Good play. Good play. Because that's a problem for me, for sure. Um... My screen goes away. I should still be fine to take most hits from this thing. I think I can just knock off. I'm Choice Bandit is the problem. Imagine if I was Dragon Dance right now. Uh, I'm just going to knock off. He could go Clef. Uh, Clef losing its item would be good, though. Uh, so from Dragapult, we saw Flamethrower. I should actually calc that damage if it was Specs or not. Gastron, we saw Stealth Rock. Um, he's going to switch, so someone's eating a fat knock knockoff here. If the sun is up versus my... Yep, Clefable comes out. Ah, I should have iron hit it. You're going to lose your item, though. What item is it? It was Babiri Berry. That's actually perfect, then. Um, let's just go back into Klefki. I mean, what am I going to switch back in on the Dragapult, though? Um, let's try to figure out if it was Specs or not. Yeah, it was versus Klefki in the sun. Um, a Flamethrower... A flamethrower in the sun with light screen up. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it is specs, actually. Um, so that's kind of good, I guess. I think we'll go into Klefki. I, I don't love sacking Klefki here, but this way I can get a screen back up. We're going to take rocks. He's going to Flamethrower, okay. That's fine, though. Clef has Flamethrower. 
Uh, we've seen that the Babiri Berry is toast. Let's go ahead and go back into Nighthawk. He, he's going to know for sure that I have Iron Head now, though. Let's go back into it. He's going to know what Choice Bandit, too. I should probably U-turn. So let's see. If he does not... If he stays in, then we just go Torkoal and Rapid Spin? Yeah, that's for sure what we do. We're going to U-turn. Because there's no way he stays in. The way I obviously come back in, he protected. Okay. Good play. Dang, dude. Fl Flamethrower, protect. My my dude, uh, bring in the sets. He's he's here to he's here to um to play, man. He's not messing around. Uh I mean I might as well just U-turn. It doesn't matter. I'm thinking we go Zapdos. Um, I just wish I knew if this was unaware or magic guard, but I don't. Uh, what are you going to go for? I'm going to take half on this, though. I need. I want to get rid of Well, I'm going to take a lot. Let's set up the sun and rapid spin. I mean, it's okay. What are you gonna do here? We get the sun either way, so we, you know, we gained. Uh, you're gonna wish, okay? And you're probably gonna protect to get um, block my spin. Oh man, I've been spin blocked so hard this season. There's, you're definitely protecting, so I'm gonna hit stealth rock. There's no way you don't have Moon Blast, so at least we know it's not set up. And now we'll know next time it comes in. Man, he's got such a bulky team right now. I want to get rid of the rocks, so I'm going to Rapid Spin. This is a good game so far, man. This is an eventful game, too. This has been a wild game so far, man. Um, so we're going to try to get rid of his rocks. We have eight turns, or probably seven turns now. Or no, six turns, because the coming in turn counts. Um, he can't touch me, though. Like, he cannot touch Torkoal. There's no way his fourth move is not Moonblast. He needs it for the, uh, you know, the other thing. For uh, Roaring Moon. Um... Yeah, so we're just gonna rapid spin. I don't. He probably. Yeah, he's probably in a tough. Oh, he could go Dragapult. I should have lava plumed, dude. He's gonna spin block me with with Dragapult, isn't he? He's a hundred percent gonna spin block me with Dragapult. Caesar, that wasn't Dragapult. That's Infernape, who is heavy duty boots. And now we're gonna get rid of our Stealth Rock. Now Infernape, let's see. We know you're not you're like choice in any way. Versus my. Torkoal, if you have, like, Earthquake. Earthquake is doing 45 to 50. It's how much actual damage? 166 max? Eh, I don't really want to take that, though. Let's go into... This is a great time to go into Zapdos, actually. This is a great time to go into Zapdos. I'm really glad I got rid of those rocks. Aura Sphere, he's special. Okay. Okay, so Infernape has Aura Sphere, and you were Heavy Duty Boots. Um, now is not the time. Clefable's too hot, too uh, too much HP. We're gonna U-turn. He's gonna withdraw. Finally, we get a good uh, initiative turn. Man, he's been playing me well. Gastrodon comes out. That makes total sense. I think the play is to go into. Oh no, because because <laughs> you could go Clefable again. <sighs> I'm going to go in a, in a Nighthawk, and the question is, do we Iron Head or not? How much are we going to do with the resistant Iron Head? This thing has leftovers. That is also very good to know. Leftovers. Um, Gastrodon. 
versus Roaring Moon. My Iron Head's going to do like a quarter. Um, and if he stays in, we'll see what he goes for. Um, this is pretty much 50-50. I'm going to Iron Head this time. We want to see him go Clefable. He's going to go Clefable. Please go Clefable. Please go Clefable. Yes, let's go. We got him. And he's he's uh he is unaware. Okay, so that is this iron head is huge for us. Um I don't want him getting his wish off. Um So I think I have to click it again. Because I don't want him I don't I don't want to switch up, like predicting him to go back into uh Gastrodon. I'm going to iron head again. That was a huge turn, man. I, I, I got an Iron Head again. Clefable has to go. Actually, if Clefable stays at this HP, we're okay. If Clefable can stay at this HP... If we can get him out, though, that would be amazing. If we could knock him out right here. That would be fantastic, man. Nope. Okay, that makes sense. But he's got to take rocks back on his way in. Um... So this is going to be the Gastrodon again. Who's going to take... Oh, no, it's the Infernate. Okay. That's going to take some damage. Um, we're going to switch out, obviously. Um, I don't see why we don't go into Zapdos and set Electric Train. Um, electric Train and U-Turn out. Flamethrower is going to hurt Zapdos, man. Oh my god, that did so much. And we are, for sure, slower. That is actually a problem. We're not going to get our electric train off. Um, that was a great play. That was a great play by my opponent. That was a great play by my opponent. I don't think we can get... I don't think we can guarantee to live this. <sighs> no, you're Infernape. You're special. Um, oh, man, that was, that was stupid. That was a great play by my opponent. Great play by my opponent. Um, no, your heavy duty boots. Uh, flamethrower versus Zapdos. Not Fire Blast. He has Flamethrower. Uh, how much actual. Uh, it says here if he's timid, it only can do max of 81. Without the sun. Um, I'm gonna go for it. We should live this. What? I don't understand. What? What? Oh my god, I have the light screen still up on the calc, dude! I just threw the whole goddamn game. I just threw the whole uh, the whole setup, man. I threw the whole freaking setup. Alright, I guess we gotta do it anyway. Even though we can't spark our thing. Oh, man. That's just brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Although, does he have physical threats? I mean, we don't have the speed now. That's the that's the big problem. Is we don't have the speed. We needed the speed. Ah, oh, dude. That was a great play by my opponent. And I threw because I still had light screen on my calc. That's a massive problem, dude. The item is completely useless. He's gonna flamethrower. This should do less than half. Okay, barely. <laughs> we gotta calm mind up. And now we're gonna have to uh, strength zap here to get HP back. Our defense is way too low. Oh, man. I'm going to beat myself up over that. I, I can't I can't beat myself up too hard, though. We have to play this out. We can still win this. The, the Clefable's very low. Um, with the Clefla Clefable being low, we can still win with... Um... Yeah, okay, good. As long as you didn't crit me there. How much HP are we getting back here? We need a lot. We need a lot, man. 
that's not as much as I wanted it to be. Oh boy. Oh man, this is not good. We can still win this with the dragon. With the Dargon. Clef's gotta go though. I would love for him to switch right now. That would be fantastic if he would switch right now. <laughs> Give me a fresh Pokemon to Strength Sap on. So Strength Saps are going to get less and less. Please switch out. He, I mean, he should. He should. Honestly, he should stay in and keep keep, keep clicking Flamethrower to pressure me. Because he can crit me. He can burn me. Any of those things would, do, would be a massive problem for me. Yep. Oh, God, that did so much, dude. And this isn't even going to get me back up enough. I need, I need to give up on this, honestly. And just KO this thing. I should have Shadow Balled. All right, well, we get a KO. Um, I missed what got Klefki. Um... Left key question mark, and then Driftblim KOs Infernape with Air Slash. Ah, oh, dude, I'm so upset at myself for throwing Zapdos like that. That was a great play by my opponent, absolute perfect play. And you, you know it was well prepped too, because Zapdos is such an obvious switch in. He had this, I had the sun up, yeah. Well, Driftblim got a KO at least. So we didn't get 6 0'd. This is probably, if we lose this game, we're out of playoffs, probably. Um, I would love to be able to get that Clefable, man. I gotta get the Clefable somehow. So I can click Dragon Move and not knock off. Because honestly, uh, Oogie Boogie, that's gotta be the Darkrai. Darkrai comes out. I mean, I might as well Terrastalize in Strength Sap. See, I, sh I would be faster. I can't terrestrialize anything else, right, on my team. I didn't bring Venusaur, and I didn't bring Electrode. I might as well. Um, I don't know if he, like, misses a Dark Void or something. Um, I can't I can't get my boosts. Uh, he's going to click Dark Pulse there, absolutely, though. There's, like, uh, it's it definitely... He definitely clicks Dark Pulse, but oh, he could like Nasty Plot too, I guess. Ice Beam! Okay. Darkrai, KOs, Drift, Blim with Ice Beam. Well, that is a very disappointing showing by my Heat Set, <laughs> but that's entirely because of my opponent making a great play with the Flamethrower there. Um, I'm gonna see if you're Scarf. I'm gonna see if you're like Scarfed or something. We're gonna set the Sun and double into, um, into uh, Great Tusk, I think. We're going to double into Great Tusk. Yeah, actually, the, the eel is a problem, too, still. No, 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 no. Uh, double into Great Tusk. Um, man, we need this match for playoffs, too. Probably not. Well, I don't know. It's I don't... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. He is going to withdraw. Okay, so we, we doubled. Uh, hopefully appropriately. Ted Lasso, that was his Dragapult, right? Yes. You're gonna take. You didn't take rocks, so your heavy duty boots also. Heavy duty boots. Uh, the Infernape is gone. Do I get a speed boost? I can't remember. I do, which means I'm likely faster than you. Actually, I'm definitely faster than you. Um, does anything take a nice spinner? Not really. Um, ice spinner, I guess. I don't know if it knocks him out though. I do not know if this is going to knock him out. I mean, we might put in a little bit of work here with the sun. With our threatening top tier mons. Look, the sun is setting. It's funny because my, my Torkoal has set the sun. Like, it's a sunny day, but now it's like, uh, it's like 
turning into dusk in the game. That's kind of funny. Um, Hear Me Out is going to take... The, that's the um, this thing, the annoying Pokemon. We're going to take a nice spinner. How much is that going to do? Probably not much. Yeah, not, not, not that much. We are a Soul Fest, though. The close combat... No. Heavy Slam didn't do much either. Honestly, Torkoal does the most, but I cannot get rid of Torkoal. Um, he's going to go for the Giga Drain, though. Let's go back. Let's go back. And, and Lava Plume. We got we to gotta make our plays very carefully here, though. He has to Giga Drain here. He hasn't seen all my moves. What has he seen? He's seen Ice Spinner and Heavy Slam. Um... At least I did an Earthquake, this thing with le le Levitating, dude. Uh, let's see the Giga Drain. Dragon Tail! Please, for the love of God, give me uh, Roaring Moon. Give me Roaring Moon. Give me Roaring Moon. Let's go, dude! That was a 50-50 random chance. Now we just knock off, for sure. We absolutely just knock off here. Yep. He's going to withdraw. Please sack Lefable, dude. Let's go! That's perfect! That's actually perfect, because now we can spam the dragon move. That's amazing for us. Roaring Moon KOs Clef with knockoff. Um, that's fantastic, dude. I've missed half the KOs here. I, <laughs> especially against my own team. I missed Zapdos. I know Zapdos was Flamethrower um, to Infernape. I didn't write it down, though. I'll have to go back and do this if we win um, or get it from my opponent. Uh, Oogie Boogie, is this thing... I'm really genuinely thinking that your choice scarf... How many turns of sun do I have? Um, I have four more turns. I need to save this, though. Let's go and get our speed boost with this. We are Assault Vested. Um... So I'm pretty sure we take anything here, even if it's an Ice Beam. He probably Ice Beams. We're faster now. You're going to Ice Beam. We're Assault Vest Max Spadef. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. We're going to find out if he's Scarf now, though. Uh, do we just close combat? N uh, yes, because we have the speed boost. So we close combat. We're going to find out if this thing is Scarf. I'd honestly be kind of surprised if it... No, I wouldn't be surprised, actually. It probably is Scarf. Because that outspeeds Roaring Moon. He's going to Ice Beam. Please live. God damn it, dude. Okay, that's a huge problem, actually. That's a huge problem. I think this is over, man. Wait, actually... Wait, wait, wait. How much, is, how much are you taking? Uh, Roaring Moon. Darkrai. Can I come in... Can I come in and click Dragon Claw? I think so. I think that's my only play. Do I eat a, no, do I eat an ice beam? That was the other thing I needed to check. Ice beam. Uh, we should. At that at that range. We should 309. Oh boy, if he's modest though. Oh, that's life orb. He's not life orb. Um We should live this, even if he's modest. How many turns of sun do we have? Two, so I don't want a U-turn yet. I do want a Dragon Claw. I think I want a Dragon Claw. Choice Banded Dragon Claw. Come on. Well, he's just barely in range. 78 to 92%. We should live in Ice Beam. The sun should prevent us from getting frozen. We don't have Stealth Rocks to switch back into. Um... The biggest issue now is if I KO him and have to switch into Torkoal and hope Torkoal lives a hit. Because I have to get Sun back up to win this game. I'm pretty sure he's Choice Scarf. From him thinking about it, though, I'm not sure. A switch here would be very good. A switch here would be fantastic, especially into Gastron. Please go Gastron so I can 2-hit KO it. Because then I, I might just win the game. Hear me out. No, that was just... I needed to hit KO this too, though, actually. That is... That's still good for us, I think. Okay, so we're going to get that KO. We still have Sun up. 
Um, Electros is gonna, or no, Roaring Moon. I, I, whatever, we'll do it later. <laughs> um, his play here, I think, is to go Gastrodon. And I can, I'm gonna have to double around. Oh, this is really unfortunate timing for the Sun, though. Because if I switch into Torkoal now, I lose Sun. And I can't Solar Beam it. But I need Sun to win the game. And I need this thing to be healthy. <laughs> His play, absolutely, honestly, if he just goes Gastron and spams Ice Beam, I think he wins the game. <sighs> Gastrodon. My Choice Banded Dragon Claw does not do enough. If this was Outrage, I might I might have won the game. But um, that Sun timing is actually the worst right now. Um, so let's see. Have we seen a move from Gastron? We only saw Stealth Rock. And we can't take... We cannot take two, an Ice Beam from this and Darkrai. Um, this is such a hard turn, dude. I'm gonna Dragon Claw. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Hope for a crit, I guess. Nope, and he's gonna Ice Beam. He's gonna Earth Power, so he predicted the Torkoal to come in. But now I'm in range, anyway, of the um, of the Darkrai, so it doesn't matter. I'm in range of Scarf Darkrai for sure now. Um, yeah, I think that was a great that was a, that was his optimal play, honestly. I know I said it was Ice Beam, but um, the the Earth Power puts me in range anyway, so um, that should be game over. Um, well, um, I'm gonna Dragon Claw anyway. Darkrai, if he is Choice Scarf and he's timid, let's see, and an Ice Beam, Ice Beam, it might be a roll, 202, we can live, we actually live 5 out of, we live 5 out of 16 rolls for an Ice Beam, it looks like. We're going to get the Gastrodon. Um... We live. We got a. We got a five out of sixteen shot at winning this game, I believe. I believe, man. Oh, and this is for playoffs too. This is my only shot at playoffs. If I lose this game, I'm, I'm definitely out. If I win, I have a very good chance. I think. I'm actually not sure about that, but um, I'm, I'm still alive. If I. Uh, ah, yeah. What are you gonna click? If you have Dragon Dance here, oh my God! Do I predict a Dragon Dance? Do I predict Dragon Dance? No. <sighs> um, these heavy duty boots, what have we seen? I didn't write down. We saw Flamethrower. So I'm going to guess he's not Dragon Dance. And go set the sun. And bank on the fact that I can win on that roll. If he Dragon Dances here, it's over also. He's thinking about it though, so he might be Dragon Dance with Flamethrower. <laughs> when I get the sun, I would love to see like a Draco Meteor. <laughs> that would be fantastic. It won't. That's not what he's going to go for though. Shadow Ball comes out. I actually want it to kill me. It probably will. It didn't. Um. I guess it's just Lava Plume. It doesn't really matter. He, he can just click it again. I mean, it would be not smart for him to switch into a Lava Plume. Yeah, okay. And there's a chance he's not fully invested. There is a chance that he's also not fully invested. Um, which gives us a better chance to it if he's not fully special attack. I mean, like if he has some bolt. 
Um, yep, it's just these two Pokemon. Um, I just Dragon Claw. There's nothing. I don't think there's another play. We're going to get that one. And now it's just down to we live a roll. Or do we somehow miraculously outspeed? Do I? <laughs> Am I wrong that he's not Scarfed? <sighs> he's definitely Scarfed. The way he's played it and the way that it's gone... Um, oh wait, did we already see that it was Scarf because of the Great Tusk? I think we might have. Regardless, according to my damage calc, he is in range of a Dragon Claw. And uh, we should, we have a 5 out of 16 shot at living this roll. Let's see it. Ice Beam, he is Scarf. Do we live? We lived! Nighthawk, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go, dude! What an ending! Oh my god, dude! What a game! Oh, Roaring Moon, dude, what a game. The heat set did not come through, but oh my god, dude. What a game. Oh my god. Dude, that I don't even know what the hell to put my title. That at first I was I was going to make a title about the Drift Limb set, but now I'm going to I mean obviously like last week you'll see you'll know the title before I've picked it because you'll have seen it already, but um, oh my god, dude, that was, that's gotta be, like, game of the season for me. Oh my god, that that game was incredible. How clutch was that, uh, the staying in to eat the Earth Power? Um, obviously I was, I horribly threw with the Zapdos mid-game, but Roaring Moon coming back in the end with the sun? Oh my god, dude, what a game. Okay. Whew. Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. I'll have to figure out the KOs, but that's alright. I'll catch you guys next time.